you know that we move left on a number line when we subtract. But now I switch the value of four from, from, negative, from positive to negative. So I have to go the opposite direction now. And if I'm starting at seven, which way do I need to go in order to uh, add, uh, subtract negative four? But, okay, so, all right, so with that thinking, Justin Bates, J-U-S-T-I-N, B-A-T-E-S. And Justin, where did you grow up? I grew up outside of Chicago in a uh, suburb called Palos Hills. Oh. This is High Bridge Green School, okay. sixth through eighth grade in the Bronx. I was uh, contracted to the Navy as a systems and network engineer. I always thought that I had a way of relating with the youth, so uh, since I started my professional working career as an adult, it's always been in the back of my mind, but I never thought that I had the proper education uh, background, so I just kind of dismissed the idea. I work for the after school program, and uh, I get here at about 2.45, have a meeting with the staff, and then uh, we do activities and sometimes lessons from about three to five. Uh, becoming a teacher, like all of the things that you have to do, is, is extremely daunting, mm -hmm. especially for me. I mean, I'm out of college for um, like five, six years now, and I have, uh, you know, responsibilities in a family. So going back to school, to be, to, to, you know, be a teacher mm -hmm. is a little bit unrealistic for me because it's a, a whole lot of um, schooling and certifications you need to um, fulfill mm -hmm. in order to, like, start working. Right. So, um, and it should be that way. You should be uh, properly trained to, to teach someone's child. But, um, you know, once you reach the, past the age of 30, you, you, can't, you can't just stop what you're doing and, go to school for um, however long it takes. Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say that uh, the reason I chose uh, the, fellow the fellowship pathway is because it's, it's a way to uh, make a living, get the training that I need, get the uh, proper experience that I need, uh, develop a sense of where I would be best in, um, in the classroom, like what the age group and subjects and things, and then the resources, they make it extremely, not, not easy, but relatively easy to, um, to, to, do well. to, get, to get on the pathway. Yeah. Uh, my full name is Akeri Ikechuku Akumaka. I am from the Bronx, Highbridge, New York, which is basically right here. My parents are from Nigeria, so I consider myself a Bronx resident by way of Nigeria. So all through your school, did you have teachers that kind of inspired you to get into this profession? And hmm. well, well, while I was growing up, I had no teachers that inspired me to get into the profession because growing up, all I heard was teachers don't get paid. I heard teachers is a thankless profession. I heard so many horror, horror stories. So, you know, I was basically, I taught younger children my whole life, but I stayed clear from teaching, mm -hmm. and now I'm here. Mm -hmm. The Pathways program, first of all, I, I would let's say it's, it was a lifesaver for me. I really had no direction of where I was. I, I had a degree, but I had a like almost a dead end job. So, literally, I'm just driving around and I'm listening to the radio, and I heard about the New York City Men Teach program. I heard uh, Bill De Blasio was supporting it. And all I heard was just New York City men teach. And I was just like, maybe I should start teaching because everyone around me kept telling me, oh, man, you should teach. You should be a teacher. Oh, you should teach because I'm always that guy in the neighborhood that's like telling the young children, like, where's your homework? Do your homework. Why are you out here in school? It's, it's a school day. It's a school night. So I guess naturally people were just like, you should just become a teacher. So with with. I had two suggestions that I should become a teacher. Mm -hmm. And ironically, I was filing out paperwork to go into a school for psychology. So I wanted to get my master's in psychology mm -hmm. and maybe do therapy. And in between that time, people just kept telling me I should be do teaching. I heard that advertisement and I just stepped in That's full fledged. And are you kind of aware of the statistics in the New York City schools that 82% are mostly white teachers? Yes. 
and how obviously you're not that and mm -hmm. how have you felt being an educator and being who you are well uh, me knowing that first of all me knowing that it was it startled me actually to know that and it was also to know that it was like 67 percent of students that get at least one teacher that resembles them they have a 67 percent chance of going to college so that number, those two numbers, the 82% being um, uh, white and 67% of students needing a teacher that looks like them startled me mm -hmm. and really motivated me. I mean, I was motivated before, but when I found out that teachers get paid in the mm -hmm. summertime and that those, those numbers, I was motivated. Mm -hmm. I mean, I already know this is what I have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to be that teacher that they can remember because growing up I myself remember that one black male teacher that I had and he was my gym teacher but until this day I, I learned I still remember so many lessons mm -hmm. so I it's it's so critically important mm -hmm. it's so important just so that students can know that it's possible exactly